how to generate 250 qualified leads per week that will convert into sales. Welcome to the Martial Arts of Sales. I hope everyone's doing good. This is the opening uh, monologue. Before we dig into the topic, I want to thank everyone out there who was watching my five-step series on why a script is important in the sales process. I got some great feedback. I got some great compliments. And I got a lot of views, so I want to thank all of you for doing that for me. Uh, so, before we dig into the topic, how to get 250 qualified leads every single week is very important. But before we go there, I just want to be very clear on a few things. Number one is, just to let you guys know, my target audience is you small business owners out there. You salespeople, you entrepreneurs, uh, you telemarketers, and also some call centers. My program is set up to helping you and sales increasing your volume, increasing your conversion ratio, and bottom line, making it more fun. So, what we're going to talk about is there's about six steps on how to get 250 qualified leads every single week. You did not miss hear that. That's right, 250 qualified leads per week, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Alignable. Google, Yahoo, Bing, the Better Business Bureau, the process is the same. So what we're going to talk about is, one, very important, identifying where your real qualified customers are. You got to know who they are and where they're at. Not everyone's your customer. So keep that in mind. We're also going to talk about how to be prepared for the initial call. One of the things that I've learned, and there's a saying, first impressions are lasting, right? So you got to make sure that your first impression is always valuable and that it's impressive, right? So you want to be prepared for the initial call. The third one is you got to have the right script. Just because they follow you and they like your content, when the rubber meets the road and it's time to give you a credit card or a check, it's not going to be that easy. So you got to make sure you have the right script when you approach your followers, your subscribers, or you're going to Better Business Bureau, Yahoo, Bing, etc. We're also going to talk about the discovery process. Why is that important in the process? Uh, you know, asking questions, learning more about your customers. So that's very important. And then number five is we're going to talk about strategy. You got to have a strategy when you make that initial call. Because one thing I've learned is that initial call is so important because it sets the tone for the rest of the conversation. And then number six, we're going to talk about how to prepare for the follow call. This is where people go wrong. All of the initial contacts are not going to be converted into sales in the initial call. But through my process and my training, a high percent will close on the first call. But also, the second call is even more important than the first call. Does that make sense? So, before we dig into the topic, let's go to the introduction. Everybody, are you excited today? I promise you after this, you're going to be excited because I'm excited for you. How to generate 250 qualified leads per week on your social media platforms that convert into sales. Before we dig into the topic, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscription button below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and also share your comments and also share the video with others. Now, how do you do this? There's six steps, and I'm very excited about it. And I want you to pay attention because my target audience is small business owners, entrepreneurs, telemarketers, salespeople, and even some call centers. Now, I'm going to take out my Chi Chi chart. You guys know what that is. Now, the number one thing we all as salespeople have to know and understand and take serious is we must identify and you must identify who your true qualified customers are and where they're located. Whether they're following you on your social sites or whether they're on the Better Business Bureau, Yahoo, Bing, uh, 
Google, it doesn't matter. LinkedIn, you have to identify not only who they are, but where they're at. Very important you do that. Why is that important? Because you don't want to chase after unqualified customer because your products and services may not be for everyone. That's why I specifically target certain industries, certain businesses. Why? Because I know that's my audience. That's who can use my product and services. Does that make sense? Now, when you do that, guess what happens? Number two is you're going to be more prepared and you must be prepared for the initial call. For me personally, selling on the phone for over 30 years, one thing I've learned is this. The initial call is the most important call for many reasons, but I'll give you two important reasons. Number one, it sets the tone to the relationship. But number two is you don't have a second chance for a first impression. I'm sure you guys heard of that, right? So you have to be prepared. And there's a lot of things that go into the preparation. You got to know sales technique. You got to know sales strategy. You have to know rebuttals. You know how to deal with objections. You know how to listen. There's a lot of things that go into preparation. But more importantly, the most important thing in being prepared is you got to have the right mindset, the right attitude, and you got to have the heart to take the initial contact. Number three is you got to have the right script. I just did a, a five-part series on why a sales script is important in the sales process. I got a lot of great feedback, a lot of great comments, a lot of great constructive criticism, uh, a lot of views. So it was a good topic. Never take it lightly whether they're following you and they know you and they're liking your content and sharing your content. Always put the right script together because it gives you a better path to converting those leads into sales. Never take it for granted that you could just call them and they're going to buy from you. Because whether you like this or not, people may not like to be sold, but they like to buy, right? So it's your job to be able to do that. How do you do that? You got to have the right script. Number four is once you talk with the customers, you got the initial call, you prepare, now you got to dig into it. They're going to give you an opportunity to earn their business. How? You got to ask what we call discovery questions, path of least resistance questions, getting to know them questions. You have to listen more. Why is it important to ask questions? Because you want to know at the end when you're asking for the order that number one, they're qualified, and number two, that they can afford your price. You will hate to go through a sales process when you get to the end, <laughs> the guy doesn't have money. Shame on you, right? Discovery questions is like um, the doctor and the patient. Before the doctor sees you, you got to fill out questions, right? He looks at the question, he starts to diagnose you, and then he gives you tests, right? No different. Very important you do that. Number five, never ever go into a conversation or call without having the right strategy for your customers. Never. That's a cardinal sin if you do that. So understand the strategy. Understand the sales strategy. Does that make sense? If you don't have a strategy, you're not going to go anywhere with it. And then number six, very important that people overlook, including myself at times, the follow call. Why is the follow call important? Because out of the 250 qualified leads, if you follow my method and my sales training program and you do exactly what you're supposed to, the conversion ratio for the initial contact, what we call one call close, is about 30%. I want you to think about that. That's 75 potential customers on the initial sale. Now the follow-up. What happens is this. If you take for granted the follow call, let's say you did a great presentation, you asked all the questions, you think the customer was excited, and now you've set up the follow call. The way you know if they were pre-sold and that they want to own it, is there in the second call. How many times have you had to do a follow call? They weren't there or they forgot who you were or you had to leave message, you had to chase them. That's because you did not do the initial call properly. What if you do and you have follow calls? Your conversion ratio through my strategy, my process, my training is about 60%. I want you to think about those two numbers. If you understand your audience and you know how to target them and where they're at, 
You're not going to spend a lot of wasted time talking to non-buyers. Does that make sense? So more leads is not always better. But less qualified leads is a high conversion ratio. Does that make sense? So, I want to thank everyone for being part of the Martial Arts of Sales. I truly hope this has been helpful. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscription button below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And also share the video with others. Till we speak again, I say goodbye for now. This is Paul Cruz with the Martial Arts of Sales. Have a very successful day. Bye for now.